It seems Laka has found the man who has given him his mojo back. Yes, that's correct. I've said it. And I am passionate about this one. I'm Ty Nine. This is TK24 Sports. So let's get into it. Actually, before we get into it, if you're new to the show, make sure you like, and subscribe, turn the notification so you do not miss a show every time we upload. And it is very frequent. Now, it's that time I said I was going to be doing it. We are here, continuously here. So again, like, subscribe, turn the notification so you do not miss a show. Let's go. Lacazette has reformed. Lacazette is a young man again. Lacazette is showing Arsenal fans just what he can do. Now, people are going to say, well, it's only against Chelsea. This Chelsea team, you know, is off a bit. <sighs> they, they, they don't like their manager, so they want a manager that don't count. Then they're going to turn around and say, well, who had a Brighton one? He didn't start. That was the proof right there. Just how bad this team now needs Lacazette. Then look at the Brighton. No, not the Brighton, the West Brom game. The man was on fire. He was just linking up. He was involved in everything. Everything that Arsenal was good about was because of Lacazette. He can hold the ball up. Yeah, he's, he's not like Giroud where he's tall. He hasn't got a Batman speed. But one thing he has got, he's got the all-round game. You see, that's the difference. He's got a bit of speed. He can kind of head the ball, but he can hold the ball up. He can play back to goal, and he can dive in to get into the six-yard box. He can pass. He's got good control. See, all these things I'm talking about, it's not about Aubameyang, because Aubameyang's just a runner. We're going to get into Aubameyang in another show. But we're here to talk about Lacazette. We're going to talk about why he looks more energised, why he actually has a smile on his face when he's playing. Well, that's because of Saka, because of Emil Smith-Rowe, and that's because of Martinelli. Let's be truthful. Let's be truthful about this. Let's be really truthful. In the last one, when I talked about COVID-19, if it wasn't for COVID-19, these three guys I've been talking about making Lacazette look even better would never have happened. So we've got to be happy about this moment, right? Let's be happy about it. Because the display against West Brom was there. That was a glimpse of what's about to happen. The glimpse into the future. The glimpse about what, how Arsenal fans could start to get excited. I'm not saying get carried away, but get excited. Get excited because these three guys are going to transform Arsenal forward. We haven't even spoke about Thomas Party yet coming into the part, coming to the party. Yeah, I know a bit of a you know, whatever tie. But once you add Thomas Party behind those three guys, it's a wrap. I'm telling you now, it's a wrap. Because when Arsenal's been crying out for a core, so let's go for it. Let's go for the core, for that, for that middle, okay? Lacazette up front, Emma Smith Rowe behind, Thomas Party behind, Gabriel behind, Lacazette behind. There's a spine right there. But then you're going to say, but Ty, what about Saka? What about Martinelli? No, those guys hold it up. But when you talk about through the middle, that's the middle you've got to be happy with if you're an Arsenal fan. You have to be happy. Saka on the right, Martinelli on the left. Whew. Kieran Tierney? Do we, need to say, we don't need to say anything more about this guy. Come on. This guy is from the Highlands. This guy knows how to play. It could be a tornado, a hurricane out there, hailstones. This guy will still come out and perform. He'll come out in his T-shirt. He'll come out in this his socks. Maybe shorts if you're lucky if you catch him on that. This guy wants to be play, play barefoot if he could. The guy is tough. He is tough and he's showing the rest of the team what it means to play and get through a hard, tough, gritty game. And that's why everyone is now performing to a level. You see Saka, see when he gets the ball, he drives at you. Smith Rowe gets the ball, drives at you. Martinelli gets the ball, drives at you. Who does that remind you of? Salah, Mane, Firmino. It does though, doesn't it? But the added addition to this is that they've got Lacazette who can hold the ball up. Then they're going to have Thomas Party come into it and then drive forward as well with the ball. And they can get the perfect partner for Thomas Partey. I say maybe like a... <laughs> Dennis Camavilla, yeah, that's, my, that's the type of guy I want to see next to Partey. But anyway, that's another show. That's another guy for another show. But my point is this, guys. Laka is back. The rest of the Premier League's got to be scared because if Arteta keeps on unleashing these four guys up front, it's a wrap. I'm telling you now. They won't be scared of playing City. They're not going to be scared. Of, definitely not scared against uh, United. They're going to get their own back against Spurs. They'll do Chelsea against Stamford Bridge. They'll hit Wolves up. They'll hit everyone up. These four guys are literally, they're ready. They are ready. 
And I never mentioned Aubameyang because Aubameyang now has to work his way back into this team. But again, we've got another show for Aubameyang for another show. So if you like this show, if you like what I spoke about, if I'm right, leave a comment. If I'm wrong, leave a comment. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, turn on that notification so you do not miss a show every time we upload. It's that important, guys. Hit the like, subscribe, turn on the notification. You do not miss a show. If you're watching it on your phone and you're watching it, you know, this way, just turn it that way. Hit the like, subscribe, turn on the notification. You don't miss a show. Thanks for watching. I'm Ty Knight and this is TK24 Sports.